Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is three-dimensional figures. So this is uh, the fifth lesson of this chapter. I'm skipping the fourth. I might try to do that when I have more time. It just would take a long time to build that lesson. So uh, it's right now it's busy time of year for me. It's in the springtime. So maybe this summer I'll try and upload that. But for now I don't have that. So I'm skipping that. So anyways, you guys, so here's our common core strand for our teachers. And then uh, our question is, how can we identify, describe, and classify three-dimensional figures? So, so far we've been dealing with two-dimensional figures of polygons. So, so here we have uh, uh, polyhedrons, you guys. So, uh, poly, uh, solid figures that have three dimensions um, uh, with length, width, and height. So, Here's, uh, here's the length, and I guess that would be the width, I guess, and then the height would be going up, something like that. So they, there's three dimensions. There's um, uh, You can look through those. I have these figures in my classroom. They're plastic figures, and when I'm showing these in my geometry class, I like to hold those figures up because it's hard to do it with just pictures. But can you see a three-dimensional figure right here? This will be a pyramid. This is called a prism right here. This is also called a prism right here. Let's talk about uh, prisms, okay? So prisms are, <clears throat> are polyhedron, excuse me, that has uh, two congruent polygons for the bases. So here the top and bottom are congruent to each other. So these would be called the bases, okay? So, um, uh, and uh, prisms they, uh, is a polyhedron, you guys, and polyhedrons have polygonal sides. So you see polygon, polyhedron, so polygonal side. So um, we'll do, deal with some other solids that are not polyhedrons in a little bit, you guys. So the lateral faces are polygons that connect with the bases, okay? So here's a lateral face. I highlighted it right here. Okay, so this is a lateral face. It's a rectangle right here, okay? There's another lateral face in the back on the left. Can you see this one in the back? This, that's also a rectangle. And here's another rectangle right here, okay? Um, again, when it's three-dimensional, these are little rectangles in the back. So the lateral faces are the polygons that connect with the bases. So if it's a prism, then the lateral faces are always rectangles. And so here we have three lateral faces, the one on the front, the one in the back back there, and then the one in the back over here. Okay, there's three lateral faces right there. A prism, uh, prism's base shape is used to name the figure. So the bases are this top triangle and this bottom triangle. So since um, uh, the base shape of the prism is a triangle, this is called a triangular prism. So there's other kinds of prisms. It just depends on what the bases are. So do you remember the first lesson of this chapter? We talked about polygons, and so we had triangles, quadrilaterals. And then in the last lesson, we talked about special types of quadrilaterals, so like rectangles, rhombuses, parallelograms, all that stuff. So, so we're going to use the bases to name our... our um, or in Pentagon is five side to name our, our prisms right here. So here's some names of prisms. There's other types also, but here's some names. If the bases are triangles, then it's called a triangular prism. If the bases are rectangles, it's called a rectangular prism. Okay, if the if the base is, is a pentagon, five sides, then it's a pentagonal prism. Six sides, if the base is six sides, hexagonal prisms. And I have these in my classroom. Octagonal prism, if it's a base of an octagon. Nonagonal prism, decagonal prism, okay? So we're going to identify the base shape of each prism, and then we're going to use the terms below the, uh, these names right here to correctly name the prisms by its base shape. So here's a couple right here, okay? And I've highlighted the bases, and here the, the bases are in blue. So this is, can you see a rectangle right here, right? This is a base, and this is a base. So the base shapes are rectangles right there. So this is going to be this guy right here, a rectangular prism right there. Okay, over here. Okay, so this base shape and this base shape, the front and back right here, are pink. If you're colorblind, then you can't see that they're pink. My son is colorblind. It would look uh, white to him, so I don't know if he could see that. So anyway, so the front is one, two, three, four, five. So then same with the back. So they're pentagons, you guys. So the base shapes are pentagons. So it's going to be this guy right here. It's going to be a, a pentagonal prism right there. Okay, let's try a couple more. Okay, so the base are the top and bottom right here. So how many sides? So we'll start. We'll start with this guy right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're hexagons. Six sides are hexagons. So this is a hexagonal prism. Okay, how about this guy? We'll start at the top. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Eight is octagon. So those are octagons. It's an octagonal prism right here. Okay, so what shape makes up a decagonal prism and how many shapes are there? Okay, well, if it's a decagonal prism, then the bases are decagons, 10-sided figures. And all the lateral faces, if it's a prism, you guys, all the lateral faces are going to be rectangles right here. Okay, so here's a decagonal prism right here. And how many are there? There's infinitely many. Okay, here's just a few examples. Here's one. Here's one that looks long and skinny. Here's another one. Kind of looks like a doughboy swimming pool, sort of. <laughs> you know, kind of. It was, it was bigger. Here's some special kind of prisms, you guys. So here's a trapezoidal prism where the, the bases are trapezoids. And notice the lateral faces going around are all rectangles. Can you see this rectangle right here? Okay, that's a rectangle. The top is a rectangle. That one in the back is a rectangle, and the one on the bottom is a rectangle. If they're all squares, you guys, it's called a cube, you know, like a Rubik's cube. Have you guys seen a Rubik's cube before? All right, pyramid, you guys. A pyramid is also a polyhedron. Remember, it's made up of polygons. Uh, that only has one base, okay? So here's the base down here, and the lateral faces of pyramids are always triangles, and the triangles all meet at the at the top point called the vertex right there. Okay, so see this lateral face? It's a triangle right here. Here's a triangle right here. Here's a triangle in the back, and then one in the very back back there. And the bottom right here looks like a rectangle, so this would be a rectangular pyramid right here, okay? All right, so... Uh, like prisms, whoops, it's uh, it's on the hour right now. So like prisms, a pyramid is named for the shape of its bases, okay? So we have triangular pyramids, uh, square pyramids, rectangular pyramids, pentagonal and hexagonal and octagonal pyramids also, depending on what the base is, okay? So we just look at the base and count the sides, and that'll tell us right here. So let's do that. So identify the base shape of the pyramid and use the term to correctly name the pyramid for its base. So here, this is, uh, look at the base. I've highlighted it in this light blue right here. It looks like a triangle to me, so this guy is going to be a triangular pyramid, okay? What about this base right here, okay? Looks like a rectangle. It also looks like a square. I'm going to guess it's a square, you guys, and we'll just specify it even a little bit better. It's a square, so it's a square pyramid. All right, here, this uh, pyramid's upside down. That's all right. This is the base on the top right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides is hexagon, so it's a hexagonal pyramid, okay? All right, non-polyhedrons. Remember, polyhedrons are polygons. They're made up of polygonal sides, so some of them are non-polyhedrons. So some three-dimensional uh, figures have curved surfaces. So these solids are not polyhedrons. They have different names right here. So this is a cone. You guys have eaten ice cream cones before. So here's an ice cream cone upside down. This is a cone. A cone has one circular base. The base is a circle. And then the curved surface is the, this would be called the surface area right here. So uh, it has one curved surface right here. So that's just a cone right there, okay? And then this is like a can, you guys, a soda can or a, a can of beans or something or a can of, you know, whatever, uh, vegetables. or So it's called a cylinder when it's a can, you guys. A cylinder has two bases and there's circles also, two circular bases. And it has one curved surface in the middle right Right there okay so um, cylinders have two bases all right and what about a ball do you guys know what a ball is called a ball is called a sphere a sphere has no base and it has one uh, curved surface so if you see a figure like that that's a cone that's a cylinder and that's a sphere right there okay all right you guys I hope that lesson made sense take care